the office of the prophet is very much alive, present, and active today. The Bible says in Amos 3.7, it says that God does nothing except he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Now, in the Old Testament, the prophet was probably the most prominent gift because it was necessary for God to declare incrementally what he was going to do when Jesus came. So everything that Jesus said and did was to fulfill those things that were prophetically spoken about him. So when God is doing something new or different or he's making a shift, he always reveals it to his prophets first. So that they begin to declare the thing before it ever takes place. There's a lot of people right now who may be prophets and don't even realize that they are. And I say, wait on God. Don't declare yourself. Ephesians 4.11 says that he gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some pastors and teachers. Now, this is something the Lord gives these. You don't make yourself. You don't declare yourself. God will reveal you. But notice that some of you are noticing a shift, a change, and you're starting to declare what God is showing to you. And listen, when John the Baptist came, he was a prophet, according to Jesus. And he began to declare things that were about to happen. And most prophets didn't even didn't even know when it would take place. As a matter of fact, if those prophets, we had lived in those days, we would have called them false prophets simply because we never saw it come to pass in our lifetime. Some of those prophecies didn't come till hundreds of years later. But they weren't afraid to declare what God was saying. So John the Baptist comes and he says, listen, prepare the way of the Lord, right? And he told them to repent. Because repentance doesn't mean, I'm so sorry, God, I promise I'll never sin again. It's actually the Greek word metanoia, and it says, change your thinking. Listen, there's a shift coming. There's a change coming. The way that we've been doing things is going about is about to pass away. It's time to shift because God is about to do a new thing. That's what repentance requires, a change of mind, a change of heart. And God revealed it to his prophets first, and then they began to declare it. Jesus fulfilled the law and the prophets. The wise would understand the latter. When this time came, they would know what to watch for. They would know I am who I say I am. And I am coming for thee. And now, family, truly I tell you, my weary bride, I will wipe away your tears and you will fly away with me. Oh, my bride, the things that I have prepared for thee, those who love me. Oh, my children, my children, hearken unto my voice, for I speak to thee. But many of you will reject this message that Father speaks through his servant, the prophet. Don't you know what the Bible says? God reveals secrets unto the servants, the prophets, before he does anything. And before he can. Holy, holy is the lamb. That was slain of all the earth. Soon, very, very soon. Sooner than you think. You will be with me in paradise. Mande dao ra ba ku ronda. Mande hiku sabavati. Oh, Jesus. This is the message to the bride of Christ. Much peace and grace to all of you, for we will all unite sooner than you think as he spoke through me. As I remember bits and pieces of what he spoke, so I'm going to have to go watch this video to see what message I have received through the Holy Spirit.